Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's Katie here and the first thing that I actually want to do in today's video is give you a little update on my garden. Let's see, the front door's already unlocked. <laughs> so I'll take you around um, this side of the house. And it's still alive! <laughs> it's actually done pretty well The and it has also snowed in the last week and has gotten to f freeze and so I was really worried about it um I didn't cover them because I'm silly and just didn't do it um but they everything is growing and thriving and nothing is dead yet so we'll see how long I can keep it that way but I'm excited I've already used like some of the coriander cilantro and stuff that I've been growing uh which it's just so fun to be like oh let me just run outside and grab that rather than ah oh, shoot I gotta make another trip to the store so all good there okay first things first it is a stunning day in Christchurch today and yesterday was also beautiful Keaton and I went to the beach and just read for a few hours and watched a ton of dogs go by we even saw two pugs uh we always love to see pugs because we had them in the state so it just made us so excited uh, but it was a beautiful day and it was just like a hint of what we are in for for the summer and so so excited about that today's high is 22 degrees celsius uh which we haven't seen yet so i'm super excited about that we have basically all of the windows open in the house and we're letting the fresh air in and it is just beautiful also we have all of the windows open in the house because i tried to cook fish last night and it didn't go very well and that's another reason why all of the windows are open <laughs> I don't think I'll be trying that again for a while, but that's okay. Anyways, the reason why we're here, I thought it would be fun to kind of do like a do's and don'ts of what I do now that I'm in New Zealand and things that I don't do now that I'm in New Zealand. And I tried to like pair them together uh, so that they made the most sense. The first thing what I've touched on before is we do separate trash into compost, recycling, and then true waste trash. And we don't have more than one bag of trash, I would say like every two to three weeks. So we have our compost is in that, there's my finger, in that drawer <laughs> there with the compostable bag. And then we have our, this is our trash can that we had in the States. It was so funny when our trash can came off of the truck when the movers brought it in, uh, they were like, that is a giant trash can. Or they called it a bin. I call it a trash can. Like, this is a big bin. We were like, yeah. So one side is for trash, the other is for recycling. And um, I will say we fill up the recycling more than we fill up the trash and we don't really take out like a big bag of trash. Maybe every like, week and a half to two weeks and i feel like in the states because everything was going in there we took out trash like maybe every other day which is terrible like i know that's so bad for the environment and so uh, yeah i love that we do separate our trash compost and recycling uh so another thing i do as well do do um is i go to op shops and secondhand stores um, there were a ton in the States too, and I liked going to them, but there's something about the ones here. They're a lot smaller, so it's kind of less overwhelming when you walk into, depending on which ones you go to. And there are usually like cute, quirky, unique things there. Not just, I mean, there's some of it too. I'm like, oh, I don't think anybody will ever buy that, but teach their own. I just enjoy going to op shop more, especially like secondhand clothing stores. There's this one in the tannery where, near where I, near where we live, um, called Where Else. And it's like a woman's like secondhand store. And I love it so much. I go in there and I find something new every time. I don't necessarily buy it, uh, but they have some really cute skirts that I've bought there and things like that. Um, so taking that to the don't side, 
I don't online shop or really like buy new clothes anymore. I think maybe I've bought um, like new leggings or tights for work because that's what I wear. I just wear like athletic clothes all day. Uh, so I had to buy a couple of new things from there. But other than that, I really haven't bought any new clothes, which truly is a statement for both Keaton and I. I think Keaton's bought a couple of things online and they've been delivered. Uh, but for me, it's like huge that I'm not just like sitting and scrolling on my phone like, oh, that's on sale. Like might as well buy it or something like that. So I think I'd rather go into like a secondhand store and like look around at the cool things it's still not buying anything necessarily. Um, but like if I find something that I really love, like not feel bad, one about the price, but two that it is like recycled clothing. Uh, so that's also better for the environment in general and my wallet. The next thing, which I touched at the beginning of this video, I do open the windows and let the fresh air in. Uh, it hasn't been quite warm enough to like kick on the cooling unit that is featured in the heat pump. We've only ever used it for heat, but opening opening the windows, I feel like in the States, the second that it would get warm, I'd be like, oh, just turn on the air conditioning. But now here, I feel like I'm more aware of using less energy and just being like, just open the windows. Like it's a beautiful day. Like why would we need to turn on the heat pump or the air, it's not air conditioning, kind of air conditioning, I don't know, uh, when we could just open the windows and it's a beautiful day. Even if that like makes it a little too chilly or you know, anything like that. Like it's still pretty chilly in here this morning. It's, let's see, it's 10 right now, which isn't bad. Uh, but I would, yeah, much rather have the windows open and the light shining in than trying to blast the heat pump because truly doesn't really get around the house anyways. It like, if you're sitting on the couch, it blasts you, but other than that, it doesn't really touch you anywhere else. Another thing that I do is I take more deep breaths, like more often, which sounds really silly, but in the US, I was so much like on the go, 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 either doing this, doing this, meeting this person, or going to work and like, I, just, I feel like I just felt like I was running, 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 running and always doing something. And now I feel like I like take a deep breath or like I can not feel guilty about like sitting here and like drinking my coffee and things like that. I think in the, in the States, there's often this like hustle culture, which is great. Like I think, People work really hard and they have a lot to show for it, which is amazing. Uh, but at the same time, it is kind of nice to have a break from that and just be able to like take a deep breath and not be surrounded by the like, go, 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 go kind of a thing. Moving into my don't that relates to that is I don't stress the small stuff. Oh my gosh. I used to let the like smallest things bother me when we were in the states and i like had to fix it right then right there or like if i messed up on something i would like apologize up and down and get really stressed about it i think because i was kind of just me as a human being in the states was very stressed <laughs> uh and so like if one little thing happened it would like kind of like send me like onto the tipping point of like well i have to fix it now or and just cry and all of that stuff. Oh, I got something in my eye. That's fun. Got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, but here, like, if something happens or like, I mean, Keaton and I getting a flat tire or the street flooding by our house or uh, we lost power that one time and they had to come and fix it. Like, that's all happened in the four months that we've been here. And I think I've done a pretty good job of just being like, take a breath, it's okay, it's gonna get fixed, it's not a big deal. And moving forward, which I would not have done in the States, in the slightest. <laughs> so that feels good to just be less stressed. And also because Kiwis are so like laid back, like 
my favorite saying and a couple of people in the comments have said it like New Zealand saying is like, she'll be right. Like she'll be right. Like it'll be okay. It'll be all right. Like no matter what happens, like it'll get fixed and you'll be okay. And she'll be right. And that it just kind of warms my heart a little bit whenever anybody tells me that like she'll be right like you're right actually like why do i have to stress about this like she'll be okay it'll be okay the next thing uh i read more books we got a membership to the christchurch city libraries and there are different ones all over the city that we can go to but my favorite one is the one in the city center it's pretty new oh, i'm sorry i wish i knew the like stats of when it was built and everything like that people in the comments might might know and might tell me and then i can look it up after this as well but it has like four or five levels and each one of them like there's a kids level and there's always kids like playing and just it's so cool to see so many families there but then like you go up a couple of levels and it's pretty quiet and there are just so many books and there are like computers every now and again that you can look up different books and uh so it's it's cool to go in there and i don't think i had been in a library since college honestly i mean i'm sure there was a city library there definitely was a city library where we were from but we just never took the time to go and now that's like one of my favorite things is like going to the library and getting a new book uh, and I've had a couple of friends from home give me suggestions on what to read. And that also for me is really cool too, because then I feel somewhat connected to them. Of This is like, they love this book. So now they are sh like sharing it with me to read, which is a cool part. Uh, and with that, um, I spend less time on my phone. I think I've tried to be really conscious of now when I'm on my phone, I want to make... Either, you know, I'm like chatting with you guys in the comments or like I'm choosing to pick up the phone and like talk to a friend from home or something like that. Like I don't want to sit on my phone and like just doom scroll. I downloaded TikTok for like a week and a half and just found myself like scrolling, 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 scrolling. And I was like, what am I doing? First of all, it didn't make me feel good. And two, I was just like, I could be using this time in such a more productive way than sitting here and being on my phone. So now I usually fill that time with books or going outside or like when we went to the beach, like I read my book instead of sitting on my phone and it just helps me, I think, feel more present and aware of how I'm spending my time. So I'm gonna be like, oh, I got through like a whole chapter. Like, oh, like what time is it? Rather than like sitting on my phone, like scrolling and like not really cons truly consuming anything. So. Yes, I love my book. So if you have good book recommendations, I love a good um, like autobiography and memoirs of people I've been reading a lot recently, as well as the classic like rom-com, like, or romance. I'm definitely one of those girls that likes romance book and I'm not ashamed of it. So send them my way. <laughs> um, the last thing, which honestly is probably one of the biggest things that we do is we save more money. Uh, since we have been in Christchurch, we have been able to save so much more money than we did in the States, partly because of, I mentioned it in our last video, like healthcare, uh, we're not paying for health insurance out of our paycheck, which is massive, like absolutely massive to not have hundreds of dollars coming out. Um, and like just thinking of other things, um, that we save money on, um, we don't really go out to eat very much. And if we go out and do an activity for the day, it'll probably be like going on a hike or going up to the beach. We don't spend a lot of money to go do things. Uh, so on the don't side of that is we don't spend money on like the next best thing so to say i don't kiwis i don't think even care like what kind of a phone you have or what kind of clothes you're wearing or if you have the next like technical gadget it's like not a big deal here and that's not how it was in the states i remember i had a um samsung phone and like my mom 
had paid my mom owns her own business in the states and it was paid for through the business kind of a thing it's a family business and um i never really cared what kind of phone i had but gee dang if i met anybody new or really honestly my friends and family did it too like oh you don't have an iphone like oh the Meyer messages aren't blue. I'm like, I don't pay for my phone. I don't care what kind I have. Does it work? Does it call you? Yeah, but like here people literally don't care. <laughs> it's just not, not the vibe here that like you need the next best thing, like the newest thing to come out. Also, I think it has something to do with if new things come out, they don't necessarily come to New Zealand very quickly. And so by the time like it's been out in the US, it's like maybe a couple months later, it'll come to New Zealand. And people are like, meh, I'm okay. Like I'm not, they don't like fall into the hype, if that makes sense. Uh, but it's also nice because you don't feel like any pressure to go out and have whatever you think um, like fits like a status symbol or something like that. I don't know if you feel differently let me know but for me and maybe it's also because we don't really know that many people here but i don't like i haven't seen that from like everybody else like nobody really talks about like oh i need to go get that or like oh i want that or like oh did you see that this is coming out like i have to get it uh so yeah that's cool but that's it that's my do's and don'ts not too many <sighs> The rest of the day, I need to meal prep for a little bit and then I'm headed off to work. So thank you all so much for your time once again and I will see you again next time.